unfortunately i lost the sound of my intro video reason this video didn't go up when i wanted i thought it was something i could fix but it looks like it's not fixable and i would have to learn on the go but anyways we're at the wildlife center in limbe and we're standing outside because we were waiting for our pass um if you're cameroonian you have to pay 500 francs and if you're a foreigner you have to pay a fee of 6,000 francs to get access to the zoo and since covid era having the nose mask is a must have to get into the zoo so for every um zoo tour you have a guide so the elderly person with us was actually a tour guide for this zoo tour i really love this space i honestly wanted to take a picture here for thumbnail but for some reason i forgot and i feel so pained looking at it now because the space looks nice it just made sense to stand there and have a thumbnail picture but anyways i didn't take the picture while the zoo now we're going to where we'd see the first set of animals one thing I loved about our tour guide is that he was very intentional. He knew what he was talking about. I mean, I know that they are trained for this, but it just feels good to know that you have somebody who looks like they are very much passionate about what they do and they know what they are telling you about. I wanted to take you guys on, let you guys have a lecture from our tour guide. Unfortunately, he wasn't loud enough, so you guys will not be able to hear him. But don't worry, I came through for you guys. I came through. So let me give you guys a backstory of this wildlife center. It's important to know that this is a wildlife rescue, rehabilitation, and conservation center that was created in 1993. It's managed by the Ministry of Forestry and Wildlife and is aimed at protecting Cameroonian wildlife and inspire a new generation of conservationists. Now, it's also aimed at inspiring people to connect with nature and increase local communities well being. The center provides a safe home and second chance for animals rescued from illegal wildlife trade in Cameroon. Now, this explains why the zoo doesn't have so many species of animals because they do not promote hunting in any form. They only accept orphaned animals and um, rescued endangered animals and give them a home. Um, this wildlife center is home to so many gorillas, chimpanzees, mandrills, drills, and diverse monkey species. That's what you're going to be finding here. I think there's also a tortoise, which you're going to be seeing in the video. And proud moment, proud moment. <laughs> this wildlife center is, has a record for the best gorilla rehabilitation and care in africa i mean we're not called africa in my nature for nothing even the animals have to feel us anyways let me let you guys enjoy this video Make you take things so oh, yeah, yeah. Make you live life before you leave you. Oh. My brother, make you calm yourself. When life knocks you down, you pick yourself up now. Don't know what's next, you cannot give up now. Hey. You gotta stay strong, gotta stand all through the pain. When people feel you, we can pay you, but then you say, If you not show me love, I go love myself. As I don't love my neighbor, I must love myself. I can't hold it, don't know, I can't kill myself. Yeah, see, as I don't dig, I don't love my neighbor as myself. And I still my go be. See, I don't do my bad, so I am free. So make we live life to the fullness. But Papa God don't say, eh, picking where he creates, don't they make a move? If you not show me love, I gonna love myself. How many be life where I won't kill myself? As I don't love my neighbor, I must love myself. I can't hold it, don't know, I can't kill myself. If you not show me love, I gonna love myself. So 
so here you wanted to see chela chela is the zoo's famous gorilla but we were told that they had kept her inside so that her husband could spend time with his new wife that's quite interesting that's how interesting the zoo is and if you're very familiar with the zoo you know that you didn't see a snake in this video and that's because we're told that she had passed on a week before we came and she died at the age of 20. so this one was punished for being very naughty and arrogant that's why she's sitting alone like that she's on punishment <laughs> and she's not a very friendly one they say she's very stubborn so when she's stubborn and violent they keep her here for punishment we're almost at the end of our tour and the, le the last thing left for us to see was the tortoise and the two antelopes one refused to come out she was hiding she was doing girls so we managed to see the tortoise and then one of the antelopes and that was it for at all so if you ever come to cameroon or you go to limbe do well to go to the wildlife center it's more interesting than it looks in videos and there is so much more to learn than i even said so yeah and one of the most interesting things about the zoo is that they have parrots and they told us that parrots have only one partners for the rest of their lives so if their partners die they do not have another partner which is really 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 nice so from today you can officially call me a parrot and that's it for this vlog guys i hope that you loved it and see you guys in my next video please don't forget to subscribe and share